Welcome back, you degenerates, to the 16th episode of Season 3 of Monster Mates. Woo! All right, Spencer, I need you to choose a number between 1 and 98. Um, I'm going to pick number 83. 83, 83 has not been used yet. Let's go. 83 no, is, 83 is... A uh, Cherbidus girls. Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? Cherbidus. Are those the scary ones? Um, possibly. Oh, no. They aren't the scary ones. They're, they're, they're like barnacles almost. All right. So before we get into it, yeah. rating. I don't know what the fuck a Cherbidus is. <laughs> I've never even heard of a Cherbidus in my life. So I'm going to assume... That it is a... Is a sea monster in Greek mythology. Uh, appears to be epic characters such as uh, in, in Odysseus, Jason, Aeneas. Uh, it's, a, it's a sea monster. Let oh, me see. it's Scylla. No, that's not Scylla. <laughs> no, go back, go back, go back. It says like Scylla. Oh, okay, like Scylla. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. So, okay. So, go on ahead. You, All right. you got the first one. All right. So, let me think. All right. So, initially, I'm going to say... I'm going to say a five. I'm going to say a five initially. I... I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this a two. You're going to get... Oh, boy. All right. I don't... Not a fan. <clears throat> All right. So, the Charbidus is a monster that lives fixed to the bottom of the sea in a nesting hole like an acorn barnacle. They don't turn into something and set a trap, but due to their nature, they are classified as a kind of mimic. It is said that there is another dimension conjured from the magic that extends uh, inside their nesting holes in the same way as other mimics. Condensing demonic energy is contained within their bodies, so they occasionally release it through their holes in their exoskeletons. Due to this, air bubbles often rise from their nesting holes. In order to get a human man for food and breeding, they periodically generate huge whirlpools focused around their nesting holes. Everything above their hole gets sucked inside. Although they are timid, they are extremely lustful, and when they suck a man into their nesting holes, they spread their vagina open with their fingers and tempt the man. From their open vagina, they release so much condensed demonic energy that it makes the energy released from the holes in their exoskeleton seem like nothing. The man is showered in it, and in moments his stiff penis will likely be thrust inside her vagina as it has been sucked in. Charbidus are extremely greedy, so once they have a penis in their body, they entwine their arms and legs around the man, binding him. They covetously suck the penis in order to gain more pleasure, trying to guide it deeper and deeper inside. Keep it together now. Also, the holes in their exoskeletons have walls that are sensitive to pleasure. Though it is slight, from these holes and even from the open mouth from which they speak, they release demonic energy to seduce men. Men are attracted by it. Uh, it's probably that way that they can indulge in so many pleasures, sucking a penis from every one of their holes. Through the <laughs> whirlpools, they often swallow up whole ships, including all the sailors. But all men except those who strike their fancy are spat out of the nesting hole. Uh, if I stick something in her ear and it starts stuck in, I'm screaming. <laughs> I'm screaming. Uh, some of the men spat out find themselves washed ashore on the beach when they regain consciousness. But most of them are captured by monsters looking, or lurking near Char uh, Charbidus. When they come to, uh, they find themselves in the middle of having sex with them. Due to, to, bleh, due to these opportunities, there are normally a lot of Scylla in particular that lurk around Charbidus nesting holes to aim for the men that are spat out. Many of the tales told involving Charbidus also involve Scylla. Being timid themselves, they can't say it strongly, but because Scylla often drag off all the men while the ships are stopped by the whirlpools, it seems Charbidus don't think very highly of the Scylla. <laughs> okay. Trivia. This monster is based off upon the ancient Greek monster uh, Charbidus. Charbidus swallowed up entire ships uh, and their crew by creating giant whir whirlpools. Nearby was the monster of Scylla, and sailors passing through the area had to choose between facing and surviving either of the two, ergo the idiom between Scylla and Charbidus. Okay. So, positives. Um, Once you're in, you're in. There, There's no... Getting out. <laughs> there, there ain't no getting out. Once you're in, you're, you're in for a long time on this. I don't... I'm not... <laughs> I like the the way their like disposition is. They're timid. They're like shy. Yeah. 
Um, and lustful, too, so they got that, like, uh, oh, what's it called? Where they're, like, oh, super shy, like, Modius, like, super shy. Oh, without, like, yeah. Corny beyond belief. Mm -hmm. That That's, kind, yeah. yeah. That's the, the kind of feeling I'm getting from this. As, as a whole, I'm not a big fan of this. <laughs> That's fair. I don't like the underwater aspect. That, now, given, as I've said multiple times, I like Shark Girl. I was about to say. <laughs> but, 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 but. They don't specifically live on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Unlike the Charbonus. <laughs> Unlike the Charbonus. Oh, goodness. And I don't like it. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> on, I mean, here's the thing. As much as I would li like to one day explore the deep trenches of the oceans... Oh, pussy. On, well, yes, <laughs> but that's beyond the point I'm trying to make here. Uh, on in, in the world, I would like to explore all the deep sea creatures and other eldritch horrors that lie beneath it. But living there is a completely different story. <laughs> you literally have to live there depending on how much air is even down there for you to use and breathe. It'll just be like she'll she'll somehow filter the water through the oxygen and then through a kiss we'll share that oxygen with you. You know, just having to do that constantly. <laughs> that sounds like hell. <laughs> this does not sound enjoyable. This sounds oh. awful. All right, so... Okay, Pros. so, well, no. You seem let, more into it than I do. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, how, how about an alternative in okay, this situation? Okay, fine. So they're affixed to the bottom of the sea, but, okay, so what about, like, those Minecrafts, whatever, undersea things where you just drain the water out and back into the ocean, but you keep the ground floor in a specific area free of water? Okay. So would that in any way change anything for you, at least? It would, it would change it a little bit. Probably not much, but enough to make me go, okay, at least I'm not trying to, one, survive <laughs> while I'm getting my dick sucked <sighs> by her ear. Through every different orifice that she has. Yeah, Trevor, you can go for that eye. Ugh, every a, orifice. It's not an... Every single one. That is not an orifice. Anyway, everything that, is that, very hard enough. Um, that is not... A, that is not how that works. Make more holes. That is not how that works. <laughs> and B... <laughs> She's basically a black hole. Ugh... Under the sea. Under the sea. Pretty much. Down where it's wetter. Take it from me. And that's a DMCA claim that I'll oh, have to edit out later. You will not. <laughs> yes, I will. Um, all right. So, uh, besides that, I'm trying to think. Hmm. Okay, so for you, yes. pros. Okay, for me, pros. Well, again, I, I reiterate. Once you're in, you're in. You, you don't have to play any of this, like, hunter-prey game with them. Like, I, I mean, don't That's get me... That's the best it, part! It's fun, don't get me wrong. But, I, but also, having to just, like, one-step introduction and you're in like that, that's, I mean, that's enjoyable, too, at times. It, it, it all is, depends. Like, here's the thing, right? I have found it to be more enjoyable to sleep with someone mm -hmm. that I have worked hard to get... <laughs> Because you're like, yes! And then you get it, right? Mm -hmm. But when it's like, all right, here you go. D b the sucking <laughs> commence. It's just like, oh, I mean, I guess I get it. I guess I earned it. Oh, goodness. It's like someone giving you money versus someone like, uh, 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 like you earning it, right? It's that gratification mm -hmm. of you doing something and getting something. I mean, yeah, I can, I can see that. Um, let's see. They'll always want it, pretty much. That I, I usually am, a, am fond of that sort of disposition. It's like, are you, able to, are you able to get it hard? We're going to do it, and we're going to have fun. It's like, heck yes. Are you limped and dry? <laughs> then, <laughs> then the answer is no, we will not be doing it. She doesn't give a shit. <laughs> you, Continue the suck. You say that. <laughs> Don't yes. think don't think that's the case. You don't think they're like suck always suck often? No, I don't think they're going to be constantly sucking on it like a pacifier or something. I don't think that's the case here. I think once they get <laughs> I think once they get what they want from you and, and they'll wait until you're uh I forget the the correct phrase of that. Uh -huh. You're uh basically your wait period before you can get hard and come again. I, I don't like the idea of someone being like yeah, it's like a pacifier, <laughs> baby. It's like, oh, no. Would no, you, no, 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 Would no, you no. rather I use the term lollipop? Yes. Okay. <laughs> good, I actually would. Good to know. Good to know. 
Because anyone couldn't draw a lollipop. If you're an adult enjoying a pacifier, you have a problem. That there's an ABD fetish for a reason, but we're not going to get into that Shut this episode. Up, not ever, ever. <laughs> Sorry, the fans of that. Ugh. That doesn't happen here. <laughs> And as for the negatives, we already explained the undersea thing, but we could all, I, but that could also be ne uh, mitigated. I also don't think it would look pleasurable because, like, she looks like a rock creature. I mean, yeah, it a would be barnacle it creature. Barnacles are gross. I mean, yeah. Here's the thing, though, and that this is another negative. Actually, depending on your physique, it would be hard to actually get in with her. Because she has all those rocks surrounding her. Yeah. <laughs> that would be difficult. Like, Or maybe her entire fucking pussy is surrounded by rocks and stone edges. It doesn't look like it. Oh, we uh, there's a picture there. Yes. <laughs> well, all right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, that, no, that's that's human. Or, okay. That That is, a, yeah. Never mind. So you don't have to worry about that, at least. You just have to worry about, you know, being able to actually get in to, to have the sex okay. with her. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, diet, eat anything they can. Yeah, they're omnivorous. They can eat veggies, they can eat meat. Omnivorous? Omnivorous. Omnivorous, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just like the way you said that. Yeah, omni omnivorous. Yeah, so it rolls off the tongue like it's Greek. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Anyways. Nope. Anyways. <laughs> um, but the only other worries I would have is, depending on what kind of, because there's there's thigh jobs, there's hand jobs, there's all that sort of stuff. Yeah. There's unfortunately armpit jobs. Unfortunate. Um, yes. Um, what's it? Depending on what body you want to rub up against her. It's going oh. to be, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun because some of her, some of her body is still parts of a barnacle or parts of the, on, of the ocean bed. They're going to hurt when you rub up against them. Yeah. So, okay. So, so A, that's a negative for yeah. sex and B, I don't think that would be very good even like for hugging or cuddling either. All right. Okay. Anything else you got on mind? No. <laughs> No, I don't got anything Ooh, else. That is fair. All right. I, I honestly, this this thing has. I, I'll give my rating first. Okay, please. I'm giving this a three. Okay. One bet, one point better <laughs> than I'm initially. Not, I'm just trying to survive having people mermaid kiss me <laughs> with oxygen. Oh goodness. Funny enough, I am also going to rate this a three. You went way down. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Was it because of all the things I was harping on for? No, it's because A, The Rock. Uh-huh. The Rock is the biggest downside to this. But she's rock hard just for That's you. That's not, she is not a Fuda. She'll get... She is not a Fuda. With enough rocks, anything can be a Fuda. That is not correct. That is pegging. That is completely different. <laughs> but as well, um, again, we, we talked about the undersea floor, but even... Even putting that out of the picture for this scenario, it just, I don't know. It There's there's nothing really going for her besides the fact that she's super horny and will and will take you away from whatever cruise you're on and in, directly into the pussy. Yeah. So, unfortunately, there's just not much for her and the things she does have are not what I'm looking for at all. They're not great. Now, given, like, going off the artwork that is here, she's cute. Yeah, for sure. But... Obviously, I'm not a fan of the barnacles, the underwater, the just overall not, it's not great. Yeah. Okay. So I think we can wrap that up pretty well in a neat bow, I would say. And then, yes. In a neat, in a neat, I don't, I don't, I can't think of a sea pun <laughs> here. I thought I had one. I can't think of a sea pun. We're in not only water, but analogies. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. But what would you rate a charbonist girl? Please let us know down below between 1 to 10 and tell us why you or would not or why you would or would not want to fuck a charmedist girl. Yes, and be sure to check out the amazing artist who did the, who did the art for this thumbnail. Also as well, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to give it a like and if you want to see more feel free feel free to subscribe and if you want updates on the show go follow us over on twitter and until then we will see you all in the next episode bye